Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Please subscribe if you consider my tutorials helpful. I'd really appreciate it. I do enjoy modeling a lot but I also constantly think about the most efficient way to get the job done. Things like hair may drive you crazy so I thought I should share my method with you. I'm gonna use this Vroid model I imported and if you want to know how to do it just watch my Vroid import tutorial. The first thing we need to do is add a curve object that'll serve as the bevel object for our hair strands. So shift A and select circle under curve. Let's move it to the right to see it better and go to top view. Go into edit mode and press V to choose free. We can manipulate control points and handles easier this way. Move scale and rotate to shape it like mine. It doesn't have to be exact. The reason we're redoing the hair is because it's hard to edit and customize it as is. It won't be easy even if we use proportional editing. Remember, we're just using this model as a guide for efficiency. We can even reuse and customize to make something that looks completely different after we're done modeling it in Blender. Let's select all and choose tries to quads under the face menu first. Selecting loops will be much easier this way later on. I'm gonna select the strands by pressing L to select linked. I need to select the bottom parts as well. Did I get everything? I think yes. Shift D to duplicate and P to separate. I'm gonna move it to the right and put it in a new collection just for clarity purpose. Now select the top middle loop of each hair strand and duplicate then separate. I'm gonna make each strand separate on its own. I'm going through the same process one by one. How tedious isn't it? There should be a better way, right? Guess. Did you figure it out? What you can do is choose separate by loose parts option instead of selection. Isn't Blender great? So smart.
let's convert these strand loops to curves and go into edit mode. And set the spline type to Bezier because decimate curve function under cleanup is possible only with Bezier curves. I'll set the ratio to 0 0.3. Set the spline type to NURBS this time. and uncheck Bezier, check endpoint and smooth. Make sure to hold Alt key while you set these options to apply to all strands at the same time. Check fill caps and choose the Bezier circle we worked on before as the bevel object. Press Alt S to scale these control points. If all these control points confuse you just edit one strand at a time. I'm trying to mimic our reference model for tutorial purpose, so don't try too hard to model yours exactly alike. Now I'm going to show you how to change the hair look by editing the Bezier circle. Just duplicate the first one and try to shape it like mine.
don't forget to hold the Alt key and choose the bevel object you just worked on. See how easily you can manipulate the hair strands? One last thing I want to mention is how you can tilt the strand by pressing Ctrl T. You can go crazy with it twisting like this. But let's undo that for now. Hope you had fun modeling the hair and found my tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another tutorial. Have a great day guys.